not angry, it's just gonna cost me God is my coffee, I had to wake up I had to shake all that evil shit off me Fuck it, I'll feed you, but you can eat off me Thinking I'm soft, now you planning to off me Fuck, it's nothing to say Get in the picture, get out the way So, do you have any facts about the trap That maybe nobody knows? Maybe something special that Maybe it's about behind the making, uh, behind the scenes in the making. You this was actually done before me and the lady in my life were actually together. Yeah. We were best friends at the time, just best friends. I mean, we had our son at this point already, but I mean, y'all weren't together. Yeah, and that's where a lot of that influence came from. The, I mean, for better, for worse, or forever. That's guaranteed whether we're together or not. Mm -hmm. That's because y'all had kids together. Well, not even that. It's just or even just y'all's bond. Yeah. Let me get so y'all were not together at the time when you wrote that. No, and I actually made a lot of references to best friend in a few of my lines. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of where that came from. I ain't gonna lie. At the period, I was like really open for it. I was like, damn. You know, I like her, bro. She playing. <laughs> and hell, it just came into fruition for the better. Well, you're happy, and that's what matters. I'm glad to see that. I'm glad to see just you being there for your children. You feel me? You being there for your family in general. That shit made me feel good to see that shit. Let's, let's talk a little bit more about like what you got coming up. Like, what's like, do you want to give the world a sneak peek of anything that's coming up? Meaning, do you want to mention anything right now so they can be on the lookout for it? Ah, I know what I should say, but I know that's not what I'm going to say. If I were to say anything, Stay on the lookout for the Thantophobia and Mixtape. I have another album in the works, The 16. I'm gonna let y'all in on that. Only from that standpoint. There's you said no, The 16, is that what it's called? There's no further context. Um, Some people, I don't know how many, but it's a very small amount, have been let in on an early exclusive for it. For the I guess you can call it the outro of that album. That was the first song I started on for the whole well no, no actually it wasn't. But the outro is the only thing that most people of well out of a few people have heard on the project. Shiesty is another one. <laughs> I know a very small percentage of people have heard that one. So like when you say Shiesty what are you referring to? It's like, not me. I can say that it's not me. Kind of uh, like those around you, or like those who are. Are you like referring to those who are? Partially in the song, partially, but <laughs> I'm not gonna call that a diss. It wasn't a diss. It was just calling somebody out on some shit that that I didn't like. I've communicated these feelings to the person and. The only other way to express it, the best way that I know how is put it in music. And that is what I did. I see you. Okay. Okay. So, like, will you give us an idea of how many songs we can expect on this album name 16? You gotta be 16. I would love to put it out earlier, but it wouldn't fulfill the intentions of it if I put it out with any less than 16 songs or in more than 16. Hmm. Okay, so it's gonna be exactly 16. Yeah. All right. And 16 was actually a reference to my birthday and the numerology behind the number 16. So I have to, I mean, if that's already the theme, I have to go ahead and go ahead and execute with it. The 16 referring to the teaching and seeking of wisdom. And it's just ironic that I was born on that day in the month that I was born. So, you know, 
I feel like I have to do something with that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. I can dig it. I can dig it. So, yeah, like, too. are you going to be dropping any artwork for it soon? Or have you? Maybe I just don't know because I ain't been on social media. Um, is that as far as the songs on it? Just meaning for the project itself. Have you made it yet? I have songs already ready for it, but it's not complete. I think. Okay. Well, I just was meaning the, the cover art itself. Hmm. I actually still in the works. I know ideas are being thrown around for it. Right. Hmm. But that is still in the works. Definitely nothing wrong with that. I look forward to that shit. Because the whole album, we ain't seen that since the FNBM days. That's the only album unless you consider an EP, but I would consider that more just a project. Yeah. Hell, if it was an LP, I could call it an album. <laughs> so, like, speaking of the FMBM days, back then, one thing I noticed about you was that you said a lot of things that were, like, bad. I, I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not even going. <laughs> <laughs> I going from, we both was on that type of shit, so I'm not trying to single you out and no shit like that, because I was still fucking around at this period yeah. of time. But, but what I'm trying to say is, there was a period of time before we started working on FMBM where your music was actually beginning to be more and more pure, and that's what I liked, like the For Real View, the Late Nights. Uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> and even those tracks still made it, might have had uh, one or two things in them that raised some eyebrows, you feel me? And, like, it would really, it would really blow my socks off if I seen you start moving back towards that, you know, that era. Not, not, not as in, like, I just mean just the things that you're saying. Like, yeah. meaning, like, I used to hear you spit knowledge in your shit in the sense of, like, you're not worried about trying to sound good. It sounded good anyway, but but you were more worried about trying to deliver that message. You feel me? I remember you, well, back in them days, I remember you trying to spread that message and you were serious about it because I remember you saying, don't live by the flesh. Yeah. That really touched me because it's like me being a young man in this society, we're all flesh. Meaning mentally. Like we look at a woman, we automatically revert to, not revert, but uh, we automatically skip straight to the dirty, lustful thoughts. You feel me? That's something that I grew up struggling with. So it's like hearing that was motivation. And I know there's lots of other men who would find that as motivation too if they heard it, you feel me? And I feel like there isn't any any man out there who's touching on that anymore. I really don't. Like when I made Pimpin' A Dead, it was basically touching on that in the, in the Results of falling to that lifestyle, falling for a woman who prey on men who live that lifestyle. And so it's like, so it's like, but this is back in what, 2016, 17? Probably 17. 17. Yeah. That was the year right there. And so, have it like, I didn't understand. Because I wasn't as much in the truth back then as I am now. So I didn't... I'll put it like this. I took it for granted at the time. Because I still wanted to do what I wanted to do. But whenever you get in the truth and you hear somebody say, don't live by the flesh, it takes a whole new meaning to you because you know that's one of your struggles. Uh -huh. And there's somebody you're listening to 
helping you through that, encouraging you, encouraging you not to fall to that spirit. And so I just want to know, is there anything we can look forward to in the future that might can give us that encouragement? Fuck. <laughs> I wish I could say there was a definite, there was a definite answer to that, but I mean, just based on the theme of the 16, there's something that's gonna come in there. You know, there's a specially wrapped package for those people that do, that do, well, but that do want and desire that sort of content when they hear music, just not, not just when they listen to Mac release, but when they're looking for music and they stumble upon some shit like that, because that is a rarity these days. There's not many people actually wanting to talk about the things that should be talked about. So I can say that I could deliver on that most definitely. Sure. Like that that is the theme of the the project. So all the the other shit the. Oh, I want to listen to this one. That's scattered here and there throughout the project. But you know that's going to come. Okay. I definitely will say that's better than nothing. Because you, I mean, if I'd have asked anybody else that, they would have just been like, I don't think so. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. It's like, it's like, they act like it's formed to have morals nowadays. You feel me, Dame? Like, like I said, it always goes back to that one question. Do you think you're better than me?